The WPIAL is investigating after Penn Hills athletes have accused Connellsville players of using racial slurs during a soccer game. In the meantime, all athletic events between the two schools have been postponed. Brenda Waters joins us live now with more on this story. Brenda? Hi, Stacy. The field behind me here in Connellsville is where the racial hatred allegedly took place, and this was happening allegedly during a soccer game. Penn Hills has postponed all sports games with Connellsville. Their intent is to make them up at some point in time before the end of the season. Last Thursday on the Connellsville field, the Penn Hills boys soccer team claims several black players on their team were victims of racial hatred from the Connellsville team, the fans and the students. It was late day last Friday that we received here in the office an email a uh, letter of concern from the athletic administrator at Penn Hills giving indication that there were allegations made about inappropriate behavior. That information was shared with Connellsville. Superintendents from neither school district would appear on camera, but did release these statements. Penn Hills wrote in part, Penn Hills school district athletic teams will not travel to Connellsville nor host Connellsville teams until the September 6, 2018 boys soccer incident is investigated and resolved by the Western Pennsylvania Interscholastic Athletic League. What was reported is so disturbing that it warrants our position and the direct involvement of Whippeal. Connellsville wrote, Connellsville Area School District looks forward to any findings of the WPIAL and seeks opportunities to improve the educational experience of not only Connellsville Area School District student athletes, but also the experience of our brother and sister schools at the WPIAL PIAA. There is video of the game, whether that's going to show much or not, we're not certain. Now, all of the information that you heard in my story tonight will be presented at the WPIAL board meeting next Monday. Now, whether or not discipline is deemed, that will be up to each individual school district. Reporting live in Fayette County, Brenda Waters, KDKA TV News.